4, negative 3, and 7, negative 3. Okay. How do we write, what does the equation of a line look like? Um, is it like, uh, is it like y minus y, or is it something else? Okay, that's how you find the slope, yeah, but what's the equation of a line look like? Y equals mx plus b. That's slope intercept form. So our answer is going to look something like this. That's what they asked for. That's what we're going to write. But yeah, we need to find the slope and the y-intercept. How do we find the slope, Grant? Um, uh, y minus y, x minus x. Y minus y or x minus x. I feel like we're missing this. Uh, Anna. Anna. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, Stuart. <laughs> okay, so y minus y is negative 3 minus negative 3, and x minus x is 4 minus 7. What's negative 3 minus negative 3? Zero. Zero. Yeah, there, class got that wrong. What's 0 divided by negative 3? Zero. Zero. It's like saying 0 split 3 ways is equal to... Zero. Uh, anyways, so the slope is zero, so y equals zero x plus b. How did we find the b value, this y-intercept? Right now. Plug, no, plug, 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 plug in one of the... Plug in one of the numbers, yeah. Four is an x and negative three is a y, so let's do four and negative three there. Negative three equals zero times four plus b. 0 times 4 is 0, plus b is, I feel like we're missing somebody besides mm -hmm. Anna, but that's just me, right? Yeah, it's just Anna. 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, is that worth anything? No. no. So we can just put y equals negative 3. On this oh. Well, that makes it easy. You guys remember what the graph y equals negative 3 looks like? Horizontal line. Yeah, you go to negative 3 on the y axis and draw a horizontal line. Oh, we have to graph this thing? No. Oh, I would say I'm the graph. So people always forget how to do the x equals and the y equals, so I have to say it over and over and over again. Number 29, uh, parallel to 2x minus 7y equals 12. Parallel to 2x minus 7y equals 12. And goes through 3, 4. What do we know if, so they said they want a line that's parallel to this line. What do we know about parallel lines? Okay, what do we know about their slopes? Same slope. Same slope. Same slope. So I'm going to take the slope from this line and use it in my line. What is the slope of this line? Negative A over B, right? If it's in standard form. So negative 2 over negative 7 or just 2 7. All right, so that's my slope. So I'm kind of where I was on the last problem. Y equals 2 sevenths x plus b. How can I find the b value? Plug in the point they gave us. 3 for x, 4 for y. You multiply by 3, you can just do Top times, remember when you multiply fractions, you top times top, bottom times bottom. Yeah. 2 times 3 is 6. 7 times 1 is 7. Alright, let's see if we can do this without a calculator. What is 4 minus 6 sevenths? Mm -hmm. 3 and 1 sevenths. Okay, yeah, it's like if I eat 6 sevenths of a cookie, how much of the cookie is left? Not much. That means 1 seventh of the cookie. Uh, anyway, so it would be 3 and 1 sevenths. I'll just put that right there. For the B value, and this is my answer, but I just need to put B right in. So Y equals 2 sevenths X plus 3 and 1 sevenths. All right, 
On 30, number 30, I know that's an even, but it says perpendicular to 4x plus y equals 7. Remember what we knew about perpendicular slopes? Right, so what's this? Did I write that right? No, 4x plus y. Write that right. Uh, what's the slope of this line? What's the slope of this line? Negative 4 over 1, right? Okay, so what would the slope of a perpendicular line be? No, 1 over negative 4. No. 1 fourth. Positive 1 fourth. I'm so smart, guys. Shut up. Okay, so on number 30, we're going to use the 1 fourth slope, but you still have to find out what B is, which is the same as what we did in the last two problems. You just got to plug the X and Y that they give you. In. Okay. Wait, can you say so? Oh, it's 30? That was 30. I didn't finish it, by the way. You didn't notice. Okay, 31. Back to the odds again. Um, write the standard form equation of the graph line. You guys remember what standard form looked like? It's like the x's plus the y's equals the number. So we're going to start by writing it in slope intercept form. And then we'll change it to standard form. So they say, what they said was look at the graph on the bottom right of the page. So if we want slope intercept form, we're going to start with the slope, find the slope, and then find the y intercept. Alright, to find the slope, we need to identify two points on the line and then find the rise and the run. So I can definitely tell that the line goes through 0, negative 3. Where else does the line pass through? That's equal to. 2, 0. Okay, no, this is just to help us. This, I'm just reading through what the book drew, basically, right? Mm -hmm. So what's the rise and what's the run between those two points? 0, 2. So the slope is... And then what do I do next? Plus B, but what's the B stand for? The Y intercept. So where is it crossing the Y axis at? Try again. Minus three. Negative three. So it's minus three. Okay, how do I change this to standard form? There's two things. No fractions, because that's not neat and pretty. And also I need to have my x's and then my y's, so this has to move over. Minus. Okay, how do I get rid of the fraction part? We've done this a couple, a few times. Well, you know. Until I make the 10, like you make all the other ones? Here, I'll write it here. Uh, you multiply by the common denominator, basically. So you multiply by 2. Um, so the left side times 2 is 2y. What happens when we multiply this by 2? They go away. That's why we do it. So you get 3x. And then 3 times 2 is 6. So that got rid of my fraction. No, we're not solving for y, we're changing it to standard form this time. So standard form, I need my x's over here. So how do I move the x's over? Negative 3x plus 2y. Now that is a correct answer. If you look at this up in the back, they will put this. Um, what did they do? They switched everything. So basically they divided or multiplied by negative 1 to switch all the signs. Why did they do that? Because it looks a little prettier when the number in front is positive. 
But both of these are correct, so it doesn't, you didn't have to do that. <gasps> All right, um, 33 it says state the negative reciprocals of. So negative reciprocal means opposite reciprocal, which is like the slopes on perpendicular lines. You know what I'm saying? So, if one number is negative three, what would the perpendicular line slope be? Positive. Yeah. Negative three or negative three over one turns into positive one third. And then also it says three eight. There's two answers on this one. It says three eighths. What does three eighths turn into? Three over three. Negative, negative eight. over thirty-three. Negative eight over three. The first one. Is Oh, the first one was supposed to be a two. Oh. All right, change that to a one half then. All right, so yeah, yeah, it's 33. Number 35, it says determine whether the graphs of each equations would be parallel, perpendicular, or neither. How can we tell whether, the, without graphing, how can we tell whether the graphs would be parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Okay, if we find their slopes and they came out the same, that means they're parallel. If we find the slopes and they turn out to be opposite reciprocals, that means they're perpendicular lines. And if they're neither, if they're not the same, if they're not opposite reciprocals, that means they would just cross at some angle. What does perpendicular mean? Cross 90 degrees. Yeah. So if, it, if these are the slopes, it's going to cross at like a perfect 90 degrees. If it's some like random thing, like 3 eighths and negative 5 ninths, they'll still cross, but it just won't be 90 degrees. So this is perpendicular, uh, 3 eighths and 3 eighths, these two slopes means it's parallel, right? Okay, anyway, on 35, 4x plus 7y, how do I find the slope for that? Negative 4 over 7. And then the other one is 5x plus 9y. Okay, what's the slope for this? Negative five over nine. Negative five over nine. Okay, are those lines parallel? No. No. Are they perpendicular? No. No. So they are neither. Okay, on uh, 39, no, 37. Find the slopes of each pair of lines and determine whether they're parallel, perpendicular, or neither. You can kind of just tell by looking at 37, what kind of lines are those? Perpendicular. But we still got to find the slopes. That's part of the answer. Uh, let's do the slope of line C. Okay, actually, let's go to the graph. I can definitely tell that C is passing through zero, zero. What's another point that C is passing through? One, two. One, two. <laughs> two, two, four is also correct, but we only need one. Um, so what's the rise and what's the run on this one? Rise two, run one. Rise two, run one. So its slope is two or two over one. And, oh, that's, that's our first answer, by the way. I put a little C there just to, to indicate that this is the slope of line C. Remember, M usually stood for the slope for whatever reason. And then the other line was D, so I'll put a little D there. Slope of line D. I can see that line D is going through 0, negative 4 down here. Where else is it going through? Up? Negative 2. 
Yeah, negative two, negative three. Okay, so what's the rise and what's the run? Rise is one, two. Rise is negative one and two. So that's a negative one half slope. So are these perpendicular slopes? Yes. yes. Yeah. So double confirmation. It is perpendicular. Yeah, it's just double confirmation. Do you guys probably I'm guessing not. Does anybody know what the symbol for perpendicular is? Um like the like the T but like this. Yeah, it's like an upside down T. Yeah, You'll need, to, you'll need to know that for next year, not really this year. Hey, next year is geometry. Where you do stuff with lines and shapes. And what if we don't make it? You can. You can't. Algebra one is above pre algebra. If you wanted to, you'd have to retake it. You have to pass like algebra one and algebra two to get graduate from high school. Uh, okay. Anyways. Okay. Um, where are we at? 39. We're almost done. Okay. 39 says the graph of y is greater than mx plus b. So we did this on Monday. Remember what happened when we, what was different about the greater than thing? The shading. Yeah, we shaded. Uh, if it's greater than, which side did we shade? Top. Above. And what else was weird about this besides the shading? Dash line. Yeah, if it's just greater than not equals to, it was a dashed line. So that's kind of what they're asking on 39. Is it solid or dashed, shaded above or below? Oh. So is it solid or dashed? Dashed. Dashed, because there's no equal to. So the first answer is dashed. And would that be shaded above or below the line? Above. Above. No, this was the question. There's not really a work to show, it's just to like answer the question. Uh, okay, on 41 we actually have to graph it instead of just talk about the graph. So 41 says 5x minus 3y is greater than or equal to 10. That's why I don't have paper The graph paper. Oh, I don't care about that. Well, how do we graph something like that, though? It's in standard form. How do we usually we change it to slope-intercept form? In other words, we get y by itself. I've done this probably 50 times. Okay. Anyway, how do I get y by itself here? Yeah. Subtract 5x. I'm going to put minus 5x in front of a positive plus 10. Divide by negative 3. Yeah. So those go away. What's negative 5 divided by negative 3? What's 10 divided by negative 3? Negative 10 thirds. Okay, but here's the thing. On a y-intercept, we actually need to know, this is the y-intercept, and we'll need to graph, like, where is this on the y-axis. So it'd probably be more useful if I change that to a mixed number. How many times is 3 going to 10? 3, three with the remainder of 1. Okay, what did I do wrong? Yeah. When you divide by a negative, you have to switch the inequality. So this is actually a less than or equal to problem now. Alright. Whoa, here we go. It's going up there. How did I do that? 
Should the line be solid or dashed? Solid. It says y is less than or equal to, so should I shade above or below the line? Below. It's a Christmas tree. Easter tree. Yes. We have a New Year's tree. What? We have a New Year's tree. What? No. We're burning. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> we're joking. We're not. We're not going to use it. It's our late Christmas tree. Wait, y'all don't. Y'all don't do the Christmas trees. I do. I have three Christmas trees. I have none. We all do. Okay. Homework, but not the tree. Uh, I guess we're done. Yes, sir. I'll need that for a tree. Guys, try and get some of those evens done. Get three done, then I'll leave you alone, okay? 